Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Millennia, where I think we've successfully turned things around a little bit. We've got Northampton back as a proper city, we have tea in the tears and religion, we've got a shiny new Republic government going on, and I don't think anything is on fire. So yes, it's all looking quite good right now. So I think what we do is, we get time ticking on until we unlock the secrets of navigation. Because once we've got navigation, we can build a proper boat. A boat with sail. None of this kind of, you know, rowboat galley malarkey that we've got going on. We can have a proper boat and then we can have a decent look around the world. Because right now, even though it's the year 1630, we don't really know that much about the world around us other than kind of, you know, where we've settled and a little bit over here where Japan is and then down the coast over here where Brazil are. And that's kind of it right now. We don't know very much about the world. So I think maybe a couple of decent sailing ships can go and have a little look around. And of course, the proper boats can go on the ocean. They can sail about on the ocean, whereas the galleys can't go there. So we can have a decent look around, which is going to be very, very good indeed. We do have a little galley. There it is. So got a little galley down here that is trying its best to go around the coast of the continent we're on, but you know, it's quite slow going. There's a lot of rowing going on. People's arms are getting very tired, so they are taking their time. So yes, yeah, some proper boats would be quite helpful. So let's get time ticking on until we get navigation sorted. We've got these guys here. Oh yes, we picked up musket men last time, didn't we? Of course, we got them from that bandit camp that we wiped out. Ah, right, okay, you guys, Head back over here, then that could be quite good. And then have you got a turn left? No, okay, their turn was fighting the bandits. Okie doke. And then, oh, there we go. The little aforementioned galley gets a go. Kind of go over here, look, have a little look around. And now, ah, we have a culture power. Okay, right, I think I know what we're going to do with this. So currently, Kazan, who were once a vassal, but you know, now they're part of our nation properly. Um, they can't expand anymore. They've got to their population limit because I believe they're at a region level of one. So if we build them a little town, they can get up to region level two. And I think that means they can continue to expand. And I think over here looks like a pretty good location for a town. I think that looks quite good. So yes, we shall have a town just there, please. So pop that there and it's Boston. Okay, hello Boston, how are you? Uh, and then I think, how have we got enough engineering to expand that town? Okay, so make that bigger. So that's now a level two town. And then what we should do is turn that into a coastal town because that's gonna be surrounded on pretty much all sides except that one by coastal things. And if we just you know keep gathering up our improvement points, we can just put many boats around it and turn that into a bit of a money generating town. So there we go. Wonderful stuff. Right, end our turn, and already, look, the borders have come out. The borders have spread for Kazan, and Kazan is already up to population six. They were just kind of waiting for that town to appear, which is very good. Uh, right, come over here then, go around that corner, and oh yes, we have our explorer. Okay, where are other landmarks? This is the only problem, I don't know where anything is. I'm not entirely sure where other landmarks are. The Sahara Desert is all the way down there. But I think, I think, are the Japanese still quite angry with us? Are they still going to attack us on sight? Um, I'm not entirely sure. They're a kingdom, they're Olympians, they're theologians. Ah, yes, yeah, somebody did point this out, actually. They did say that, um, yes, the J uh, Japanese are the founders of Judaism because they have their little kind of icon there. So um, can we see if they're still going to kill us, though? Are they still going to kill us? Um, I think they might do. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Because, yeah, do they still have that thing on where they're going to attack us if we're out in the open? I'm not entirely sure. But I would like, if we could, to bring our explorer down here to look at the Sahara Desert because they can do their little kind of expedition things. There is an expedition available. So we could nip down there and have a little look around. But yeah, I'm a bit concerned the Japanese might possibly try to kill him to death. Um, okay, maybe let's... Uh, do we go through our... Do you know, we'll go through our realm. We shall go through our land and just play it safe. So pop into the water there, and then you guys can sort of head back here. You lot can just sort of shuffle down here a bit. You can take your full movement. Okie doke. And we have an idle region, Bristol. I mean, Bristol is very good at making things. Okay, um, how about then? Ah, here we go. 
We could, oh, we could, we could spend six turns on getting the Physician's Guild in place. So that upgrades the Council. So that gives us, um, oh, a point of knowledge, which we already have, but also it spreads tearsum. Okay, that could be quite good, but I do like the idea of the Atelier Studio for knowledge and luxury. Okay, oh, hang on, Bristol's got, what's that? What's that? Oh, faith. Each religious population in a region of a five requires one faith. Uh, oh, no, that's Liverpool. Hang on, but Bristol will have the same sort of thing. Okay, so Bristol needs a bit of sanitation. It needs some luxury, and it does need some faith. It needs three. Okay, how about then, because of that, we get the Physician Guild in, because that gives us four tiers of little candles, which is quite nice. So, yes, we shall have that, thank you. And then in Liverpool, do the same thing. Do the same thing to provide some faith there as well. Wonderful. Okay. Right. That's quite good. I'm happy with that. So here we go. Let's just kind of go poodle on and get four turns under our belt and then get navigation. And then we'll go and build a boat and do some fun sailing around. Although, hang on a minute. We can unlock another Shogunate ability down here and another Republic ability over here. Um, okay. Shogunate. What shall we go for? What can we do? Um, this is quite interesting. I don't know what a Shogun improvement is. And I don't know how to get a Shogun either. We've got some sort of upgrading thing going on. So we can spawn a Daimyo, and then we can upgrade them into a Shogun. Oh, it's a culture power. It's a culture power. It says right there, diplomacy culture power. Okay, right. So when we get into the culture power, we could possibly promote our, oh, I've forgotten how you pronounce it, Daimyo into a Shogun. And then if we get this, we can use our Shogun to then create a Shoen. I don't know what they do, but they might be amazing. So do you know what? 125 of our points. We have 152. Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. There we go. That's quite fun. Um, and then over here, Republic. Got 99 points. Do we need to do anything? Um, I don't think we do. I don't think we do. So here we go. Let's get one of these. Uh, we could get some more domestic export slots or... We could get some slightly fancier things here. Plus one bonus luxury from plantation goods. Oh, okay. So that's cotton, flax, rice, grapes, olive, sugar, spice, tea, coffee, and tobacco. Okay, we've got quite a few of those. How about we get that? I like the sound of that. Yes, we shall have that. We do pick up these points quite quickly. We do get a lot of government points. So we should be okay to sort of stock up on those. Right. Okay, wonderful. So now with that done, we shall try and get navigation done. And then you're in seven turns, maybe. There it is. Promote Shogun. We can get ourselves our Daimyo. I think they're down there. There they are. Look, hello there. We can promote you to a Shogun. And then maybe we can use you to build some fancy improvement things that we're not quite sure what they do, but we'll try and find out. And there we go. Research completed. We now know the secrets of navigation, which is wonderful. OK, so what do we go for next? Now, I'm thinking maybe is it worth possibly going back a little bit and getting there we go. The thing that gives us a maximum army size. Because at the moment, we can only have three sort of military units on one tile at any one point. But I think maybe that's going to become a little bit old hat very soon. I think maybe we might need to go back to the Age of Plague. And we're not going back into the Age of Plague. The research from the Age of Plague. Good grief. No, we're not going back into that terrible time again. Nightmares about that. But um, yeah, if we get that look, that increases the maximum army size. I don't think anything else did that. Um, that's 20 Warfare XP. Discipline. Oh, Discipline is one turn from the Age of Bronze to increase the maximum army size. Oh, do you know what? For one turn, we will pick that up. That gives us, oh, Warfare Domain Power. Restore some of an army's health and morale. Oh, this is quite good. Force March and then Chariots and Spears. Okay, do you know what? For one turn, we will pick that up. That's going to be quite good. And then we have got 61 Warfare XP. So we were going to go through and have a little bit of an upgrade of these, weren't we? So how much was it to upgrade our, our sort of, what are they, City Guard? Upgrade the City Guard to Guard Reserves for 22.5 Warfare XP. So get one of those upgraded over there in Northampton. And then maybe 
Get, oh, they're on their own down here. Yeah, get them upgraded. Make them better as well. Okay, and I don't think we can do another one just yet. Right, but that's fine. That's all good. Splendid. Okay, I like this. This is all sort of coming together. It's all going quite well. Yeah, you guys sort of fortify. It's fine. You guys fortify as well. Just sort of hang around for a bit. And then we have got a big pile of improvement points. So Northampton is okay for its religion still. But over here, we need some sanitation and also some luxury in Bristol. So Bristol, what do we have going on here? Let's go and check Bristol, shall we? Um, so we're importing, uh, we're importing so you know just generic foreign goods for culture, which is good. Um, we have got leather. Can we do anything with leather? I'm not entirely sure what we can do with that. We did. What did we unlock? We un oh meat. That was it. It was a kitchen. We unlocked a kitchen. And maybe the kitchen turns the meat into like your know, proper actual delicious cooked things, you know, like steaks and sausages and things. So, um, yeah, can we build one of those? A kitchen. There we go. 32 points. Converts two meat, olives or sugar, into two delicacies. So for a huge food boost and for luxury. Okay. So we've got three meat, which comes from, I imagine, the cattle over there, does it? That's two meat. And the hunting camp over here must be one meat. Yeah, okay. So I think, let's go down here, get a little kitchen set up. And we'll put it there. I mean, it is next to the big kind of horrible midden you know, smell pile. But we'll put it just here. We'll, we'll make sure that people wash their hands as they come in. Oh, yeah, we've been there and done that. We don't want another plague outbreak, thank you. So if we pop that there, that should hopefully... There we go, look. Food has been sorted out. And luxury has been sorted out. For the people of Bristol. They've got eight out of five. And look, got a little kind of fancy sort of oh, like a like a food quarter type thing. And there's a fountain and some posh houses. Oh, that looks really nice. I quite like that. That looks wonderful. We're down to 16 points now. So we could potentially do an upgrade. Oh, yes, we repaired that, by the way. We repaired that. I realised at the start of the video, I said, oh, nothing's on fire. That thing down there, the little kind of public quarters, was on fire. So we fixed that up. That's all absolutely fine. That's all sorted. Um, yeah, do we upgrade one of these? Northampton's got all its needs sorted. Um, maybe over here? We need some faith over here. We need some faith sorted out. Uh, Liverpool, what do you have going on? You've got fish. Just, just fish. And the shell dying stuff. Um... Okay, cotton. Could we maybe turn the cotton into something? Not with what we've got right now. Not with 16 points, we couldn't. Um, okay, never mind, never mind. What we'll do is we'll upgrade one of these. We'll upgrade, uh, I don't know, that. We'll upgrade the farm into a Swidden farm, which I think means we get more stuff out of it. Or, hang on, maybe we keep the points and then build a plantation on that tobacco just there, because that is a luxury resource, and that's going to get us a nice luxury thing for Northampton. Yeah, okay, that's what we'll do, actually. That's what we will do. So we'll run time on, I mean, pretty quickly for the next turn. We'll get that sort of uh, research done. We'll get the science done. Modify social fabric. Social fabric points are available. Why is that? Why have we picked up a social fabric point? Ooh, there is a mysterious jungle over there. Okay, <laughs> that's quite fun. Um, yeah, why have we got this? We've picked up a point. Um, I'm not quite sure why. Does I don't know why I've got a point. I'm not entirely sure, but we will take it and run with it. Thank you very much. I mean, improvement costs. Yeah, we're not so bothered about that. Wealth per turn is quite good because then you can buy things and rush things. Unrest reduction is quite good, but... We are still quite far behind in terms of research. So I think get another insight point and accept that. Thank you very much. And then pick our technology. I mean, did that give us one? Did that give us an insight point thing? I don't know. Right, there we go. Oh, it's because we completed the Age of Bronze. Is that, is that, well, hang on. Is that what happened? Nope, that's the help thing. And that just shows all the things we get. Maybe... Are we supposed to go and complete these things? I mean, scouting takes no turns at all. What's that? Allows units to move through and towns to be built on jungle and deep forest terrain. I mean, again, just to complete that off, just to finish it off, let's do that, shall we? 
Let's get that out of the way. Uh, Liverpool's completed the Physicians Guild, so Liverpool now has a little bit of faith going on, which is wonderful. Um, you can get some stores for production. That could be quite good. And then another domestic export slot. Have we only got... Oh, we haven't got one right now. Oh, okay. That could be quite good then. I thought the market would have given us that. Maybe that's an import thing. Um, yeah, okay, right. You work on that, please. You work on that. Um, go through to the end of the turn. We're for some reason focused on Liverpool. Not quite sure why. Ah, Tearsum is spreading. Look at that. We've got Tearsum over in Liverpool. Northampton's got Tearsum. Bristol is Tearsed. And Kazan is still, uh, is still, yeah, the dominant religion is Judaism. So we need to sort that out. And then Malmo is Tearsed as well. Right, okay, Tearsum going very well. Wonderful to see. Uh, keep the boat going around the coast over there. Um, okay, we've now got four. Oh, because we've done scouting. Did we get given a scout? Oh, okay, that's quite fun. Right, you stand on that hill for a minute. Um, we could promote you to an explorer. Um, okay, no, I think we keep... What's that going to be? Oh, 35 exploration XP. Oh, yeah, yeah, why not? Go on then, you do that, please. And then we'll get one of these upgraded to be the um, the proper guard reserve people, because that's quite good. Right, there we go. That's looking a little bit better. Um, yep, you guys just sort of hang around for a bit. You can... Oh, let's... Do you know what? Let's send you out here, shall we? Let's send you down here and we'll see if we can have a look around the Sahara Desert and do a little kind of exploration thing. Right, we have another culture power. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's promote the daimyo down here to a shogun. This could be exciting. Okay, so, boop, we now have a shogun. And there they are. They're on a horse, which is very fancy. Okay, so we can create a shoen. Okay, so pay 20 improvement points. What do they do? Spawn shoen. What is one? It produces government XP and diplomacy XP. On turn start, daimyo, diplomacy XP, government XP. Uh, I don't know what that... Oh! Oh, I see. If a daimyo is on one of these improvements, they get... You get more government XP and more diplomacy XP. Um, okay. That might be fun to build. Can we build them in there? Can we build things in other territory? What if we just pick anything? Um, what can we put in Malmo? A house? No. We can't build things over there, so it's got to be in our land. Northampton does have quite a lot of open space. Is it worth maybe trying to build this thing down in Northampton? Where they've got loads of room. Or over here, look. Maybe over here. Liverpool's got all that room. Let's bring you over here. So you pop over. You have to gallop over here for now. That's fun. So you head over there to Liverpool. And you build a show-en thing. And then we'll see what we can do with that. Modify social fabric. Okay, we've got that thing again. I think when you complete all the research in one particular era, you get a social fabric point. I was unaware of that, but I think that's how it works. Okay, right. This is good. So now all that's done. All that's done. I mean, we could get another social fabric point for completing all of these. That's five turns. Five turns is not so bad, but that means we're not getting the stuff here to maybe move into the new age. And the age of alchemy is within our grasp, I would say. Uh, but yeah, it takes a while to get all those done. Do you know what we'll do? We will unlock the secret of, uh, oh, you know what, construction. We never did construction. We never did get the catapulty boats. Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. And um, yeah, we shall have another insight point. We'll do that, please. So that's going to make things even quicker in terms of research. And then uh, Bristol can now build the Atelier Studios. What do Lookouts do? Plus one Exploration XP. For one turn, it's probably worth it. Let's get that done, shall we? Just get a little Lookout Tower, just to make sure that Bristol's nice and safe. Um, and then, yeah, generates more Exploration XP because that's always a good thing. And then, yeah, we get a social fabric point when we complete all that research. But we have cultural dilution. Oh, dear. As Cambodia grows, its contact with foreign cultures has led to citizens adopting outside influences. The unique identity of Cambodia has become diluted and might suffer further if nothing is done. Okay, so if we accept this, we have times two culture upkeep cost 
per region for five turns. So our culture is going to be essentially, I don't know, wiped out for five turns. Do you know what? I can cope with that for five turns. That's okay. For five little turns, we can deal with that minor issue. I think that'll be okay. Uh, right, I think we've got enough to get a new plantation. So I think that goes there, doesn't it? So that's on the tobacco, which is good. That's another luxury thing that Northampton can do. And 17 more points. Let's, let's upgrade this thing over here, look. Upgrade the farm. There we go. It's just a farmier farm now. That's fine. Right, and then you're over here. You can head over to that part of the world. And we've got the little boat down here. Can sort of poke around this part of the world. And then you can go out over here. In fact, no, go down here, of course. Yeah. Come, hello. Come down here. There we go. Because um, we want to go down to the Sahara Desert. If we don't get killed by the Japanese first. Which might possibly happen. Right. Now, I think we get the Atelier Studio in for knowledge and also luxury. So, Bristol should be good for luxury for a very long time. And then, um, yeah, it'll provide more knowledge. The only thing we're lacking is faith stuff. We're struggling for the whole religious side of things. But, okay, we'll try and unlock some sort of faith stuff as well. Um, and you, Kazan, you can build... Oh, the Palazzos are really good. The palazzos are really, really good. Our Republic gives us those, and they're particularly fantastic. Um, how about, though, 25 turns, 3,000 money to rush the thing, but I think it'll change that round when it gets done. So, yeah, we'll have that, please, and we can get another thing over here. Uh, more domestic export slots, more region levels from the palazzos. Do you know what? More domestic export slots. Let's go for that. How are we doing for domestic exports? What's going on with that? Foreign imports at Liverpool. Um, Northampton doesn't have a domestic export. Oh, okay. So could could we export some tea, for example, to, yeah, confirm that and send it to, um, I don't know, where would like some tea? I'm sure they all want tea. Liverpool. Why not send some tea to Liverpool? Okay, that's quite good. Liverpool just has... A foreign import. Okay, so that, that's fine. That's okay. Foreign import. Domestic export. Liverpool. So Liverpool's getting fish. I think maybe that's not required anymore. Um, we've got delicacies providing four luxury. So two of those. But we're okay for delicacies. And then we've got leather. Uh, okay, we'll keep that for now. We'll keep that for now. And then Kazan has got... Oh, yeah, we need to get the winery set up down near Kazan, don't we? Um, it's got grapes and some fish, but no way of exporting or importing things just yet. Okay, right. That's all fine. At least we know where we stand with that kind of thing. Uh, right, let's go and complete all the research in whatever that age was. The Age of Iron. Let's get these three things done out of the way. It shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Oh, now this I do like the sound of. Innovation, fine delicacies. Please tell me we've invented custard creams. That would be amazing. Perfection is difficult work and a never-ending pursuit for the artisans of Cabordia. Okay, we can get 750 money or we can get production from luxury goods. And we have just created a number of luxury goods. We've got the lovely delicacies. I think does a tobacco count as luxury as well. So do you know what? Yes, absolutely. We will take the bonus rather than the money, thank you. Right, here we go. So Northampton has completed its palazzo, which is good, and those things are amazing. They're really, really good. They give you government XP, production improvement points, and because we have upgraded our republic government a little bit in the right places, it also gives us food, housing, and sanitation as well, which is completely amazing. So that's now all done. Northampton is looking pretty good in terms of all of its demands and such like. So I think now we build Machu Picchu in Northampton. I think now is the time. We get a culture point per turn, engineering point per turn, and 10 production will be awarded to Northampton every single turn. It will turn Northampton into a production powerhouse, which is going to be brilliant. So yes, please get that done. Put that in Northampton, please. 
the wonder of the world built as a great citadel, Machu Picchu in Northampton. <laughs> it doesn't sound quite right, but you know what? I like it. So there you go, Northampton. You can work on that. It's not even going to take that long. It's only, what, 12 turns, was it? 12 turns to get that finished. And that's going to change everything around here. Northampton will just be able to build so many things so very quickly. It's going to be absolutely fantabulous. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Japan is attacking our explorer. They've just picked on them. Their explorer's got a strength of 74 for some reason. And ours only has 53. So yeah, their explorer is picking on our explorer. Well, that's not really very fair, is it? Come on. Um, can we possibly fix ourselves up? We can. Survivalist. Pay 5 expiration XP and we get our health back. Now, does that end our turn? I don't know, because if it doesn't, we could just then heal up and attack them back. Do you know what? Let's do that for fun. There we go. Does it end our turn? I don't think it does. No, we can now go back another fight with... Can we go back another fight with them? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Yes, we can. I think we can. Oh, look at this. On guard, you scoundrel. And there we go. Just, you know, pokey poke and stabity stab. Okay. <laughs> it's not a very dramatic fight. And they are stronger than us. But we can just keep healing up all the time, which is quite fun. Do you know what? Do it again. Why not? Got loads of expiration XP. It's absolutely fine. That's a bit of a shame. That is a little bit of a shame. It would have been quite fun had we just been able to get on with that. But there we go. Right, horses is done. So go to scribes. Three turns. And then the Age of Iron research will all be done, which is wonderful. I mean, you know, maybe it's not overly important, but I do like kind of ticking off those boxes there and just completing those things. Oh, oh, hang on. Did our explorer just get completely wiped out? Oh, no. A routed unit has been destroyed by Japan. Explorer killed. Oh, we lost our explorer. Okay, Japan, that was a little bit uncalled for. That was a little bit mean. Okay, right, Japan, you've made me a bit grumpy and a little bit sad now. That was that was just was not really on, was it? Japan, come on now. They're just exploring, just looking at things. They weren't bothering you. Okay, good news. We've completed the research on scribes, which means we've completed all the research in the Age of Iron. And we do have our little social fabric modification point, which we will again put into insight, please. So research is now 5% cheaper, 5% quicker, which is pretty good. We will take that. However, Greece, the big show-offs, are moving into the Age of Enlightenment in six turns. And that's just the regular rage. That's just the regular... I'm not going to say boring, because yeah, I'm sure none of the ages are actually boring, but it's just a normal one. We could, if we were able to get two more technologies done in six turns, and also then move into the Age of Alchemy, we could get that done because we have got five social fabric insight points. We've got the five points we need for that, but um, yeah, we've not got the tech. We've not got the tech, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, we're not going to be first into the age again. We've not done great with that. Greece have been pretty dominant with the whole sort of research thing. Um, I don't know if we need anything from here. I mean, sanctuary does seem like quite a good thing. That's like abbeys and holy sites and things, which might help satisfy people's need for tearsm kind of buildings and things. So that could be quite good. That could be quite good. Cleanses all outbreaks from a friendly region. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. That would have been handy to know a while ago. Not so bothered about professional army. Machines is quite useful. And then over here, have we got faith things over here? No, we haven't got faith things over here. So I think maybe we have to go back again and get Sanctuary to work on our faith. Because I don't think we have got the faith buildings we need to keep people happy. I just don't think we've got the stuff right now. So, uh, so yeah, there we go. We'll have to go back and grab that, which means we're going to be even further away from Greece when they move into the Age of Enlightenment because we're researching things from, you know, quite a way back in the research tree rather than looking for. But I think they're kind of important things. But uh, there we go. Never mind. Um, we can get another one of these. Let's get right to strike, shall we? So Shogunate units have increased unrest suppression while in regional capitals. Yep, okay, we'll take a point in that, thank you. And then we will get this down here. So palazzos increase the region levels because that's also quite useful. There we go, look, region level six for Bristol. That's pretty impressive. Northampton is six. Liverpool is eight because that's just showing off. And Kazan down here is four. We are lacking some housing. 
down in Kazan. Uh, right, okay, got plenty of points down here. Can we please get ourselves... Where are they? <laughs> Where's the fancy residence thing? Oh, there we go. Yes, of course, it's house now, isn't it? We don't want to build public quarters because they add unrest. We want to build just houses, please. So, uh, yeah, there we go. 12 housing comes from that. I think it's a little bit less housing than the public quarters. But yeah, they don't generate unrest to the houses. So yeah, we'll have some regular housing, please. Put it just there. Thank you so much. That's going to be good. And then also, can we get... There we go. A winery. Converts two grapes. I imagine Kazan gets two grapes out of that. Yes. Into wine. Which is going to be very good. So uh, yeah, culture and luxury and production. We get culture from grapes. We get more culture because we're drunk on wine. Marvellous. Um, yeah, put that there, please. So that means we've now got more culture going on. This is wonderful. I like the little kind of improvement things and the sort of supply chain stuff. I do think it works very well. Um, also, let's just upgrade that to a proper house thing. Rather than living in little kind of shack things in 1680, let's live in a proper house, shall we? That'd be a good idea. Is that on fire? Oh, that midden's on fire. Oh, Okay, we should sort that out as well. How long has that been on fire? Is anything else on fire? <laughs> I thought nothing was on fire, but no, it appears that there's quite a lot of flames happening around here. Um, okay, right, there we go. Hopefully that's the final thing that's currently on fire. Okay, we have another culture power to use. I'm not entirely sure we have to create a town right now. I think we're okay for towns. We've got the five towns. Northampton's got one, Kazan's got one, Bristol's got one, and Liverpool has two. But I think we're okay. I don't think anywhere's being kind of held back due to a lack of towns. So that's okay for now. I think maybe we go for the Eureka. Let's do that, shall we? And just try to catch up a bit with the whole kind of sciencey stuff. So uh, yeah, what does that give us? 130 knowledge. Okay, how much do we need to get this done? I'm not entirely sure. Total research cost, 119. Ah, so if we Eureka this, that'll be completed. Oh yeah, do that then. Yes. Brilliant. Okay, we can now build kind of your holy buildings. We can build abbeys and holy sites and things. Right. That's quite good. That will help quite a bit. I don't think we need isolation. That's all sort of barricades and walls and things. Um, outbreaks. Yeah, that's all about outbreaks. Don't care. Professional army. We're not so bothered. Machines would be quite useful. But I think maybe now... We go back over and just try to catch up a little bit with the Age of Renaissance. Um, what do we go for over here, though? What's going to be particularly handy? Let me have a quick look through. OK, we're going to go for public works for a couple of reasons. Number one, we can build a trash heap to replace the old middens. We get more sanitation from those. And then in the cities themselves, we can build a waterworks for more sanitation because I do see sanitation becoming a little bit of an issue now. We haven't got that many buildings that can provide sanitation. So I think public works could be quite good for that. So that should help sort out sanitation issues for a good long time. It also gives us a poor house, which I don't think we'll use. And down here, it gives us a lifting tower, which gives quite a lot of improvement points, which could be very handy indeed. And then when that's done, I think we might go for the printing press. I think that could be quite handy. That gives us a paper mill, so we can then turn logs into paper, and Liverpool does get quite a few logs. And then, over here, the printing press turns paper into books. And books are worth knowledge and luxury and production, which sounds fantastic. So I think we might go for those two. But yeah, let's get public works done first, just so we can get some sanitation stuff sorted out. Because, yeah, it's getting a little bit kind of, a little bit whiffy around Bristol. And I don't know how Liverpool is coping. And yeah, Liverpool isn't coping very well either. So, uh, yeah, we'll try and get that sorted out. I think that's got to be the next sort of logical place for us to go. Oh, I've just seen something really exciting. This is going to be wonderful. So down here we have our galley. And that galley has been very dutifully but very slowly going around all the coastline of the continent we live on. And they've got to just here. They need to get to there to complete the full circumnavigation. But they've come across a bit of a problem. Japan have got a city over here. And they are currently controlling that water there, which means that we can't go any further. Because we're a galley, we can't go into the deep water. However, look down here. We have a pointy upgrade button. We can upgrade our little boat over here to a proper actual sailing ship for only 31 and a half exploration XP. It's absolutely worth doing. Yes, please. Do that now. And we've got a proper boat. We've got a proper boat. And look... 
We can go over here. I'm going to go just here and have a look at this boat here. Oh, look how far we can move. This is brilliant. Okay, uh, let's have a fight with you. Let's have a fight with this barbarian canoe, which is somehow out in the middle of the sea. Like our galleys can't go out there, but the barbarians can apparently. But look, we've got a proper boat. It's a proper actual real boat. This is magnificent. Okay, we've got a proper boat now. So it doesn't matter about your pesky borders there, Japan, because we can just sail around the edge of them now, which is completely brilliant. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay, right, boat, come back this way. I want to go look over there. More bar bars. Um, okay, you can go to here, look. Go to there and have a little look around. Oh, there's more barbarians over there. Crikey. Loads of barbarians. So many bar bar boats everywhere. Uh, right, and then there's an idle region. Um, Bristol. Uh, we do. Uh, here we go. Look, maybe to sort out faith, we could get a holy site for four tiersum. So that's four faith points. That'll get us up to eight out of 15. Yeah. OK, do that, please. A library. A library is knowledge. Oh, that's quite good as well. Do you know what? Cue that up. Cue that up. Yes, please. We shall have all of the fancy new things. OK, move our lovely proper boat over there. And I think with that move done, it's completed a full circumnavigation of the continent that we live on, which is quite good. I mean, we're a little bit kind of unsure about the middle bit of the continent, you know, the land bit, these bits over here. We're not overly sure about those, but we can now see around the edge. We know what it looks like, kind of, you know, to draw it a bit on a map. We can draw the sort of the outline of the bit we live on, which is quite good. OK, that's very good indeed. I think maybe now you just go in that direction. Just get, sail east and see what you find. That's going to be quite fun, isn't it? Um, Liverpool, what can you do? You also need sanitation and some faith. Um, OK, yep, holy site and a library for you as well. Just, you know, get these sort of uh, get the faith sorted out and then get some more research on the go. I think as well we are about to move into the Age of Enlightenment. And I say we, Greece are. Greece are going to drag us all into the Age of Enlightenment. I don't want to go into this one, Greece. I wanted to go into the age of alchemy. Can you please go into an interesting age? Not this one isn't interesting, but it's not one of the kind of the the kind of you know, the crazy ones. It's not an unusual one. This is the standard age. Uh, OK, good hat. Very impressive hat. In the age of enlightenment, completing your first public library building in the age of enlightenment provides bonus specialists. Oh, OK, there's a new thing. Specialists. Secularism grows preventing the founding of new religions and slowly converts religious populations to be non-religious. From now on, four technologies need to be researched to advance the next age. New national spirits unlocked. OK, so we're not there yet. We're going to be way behind. I don't think we will have the pick of national spirits, unfortunately. Um, you're a little bit wounded. You can you can heal up over there. You can try and heal up. And Northampton has finished Machu Picchu. <laughs> So Northampton now has a wonder of the world built within its borders. I'm not quite sure. Does it appear on the map? Can we see Machu Picchu somewhere around here? I don't know where it would go because there aren't really any hills. And Machu Picchu is quite hilly as far as I'm aware. But OK, no, that's fine. Uh, oh, yeah. Can we upgrade? Um, can we upgrade these guys? Uh, yeah, to spearmen. Can we upgrade just the regular fighty folks, the war bands to spearmen? There we go. That might make us a little bit more fearsome. Um, and also in Northampton, upgrade you and upgrade you. OK, there we go. Got a proper kind of guard reserve force in Northampton as well, which is pretty impressive. Uh, Liverpool, upgrade you. And uh, OK, have we got have we got enough XP? Yes. OK, we have. Hooray. So Liverpool is also now fully upgraded with a proper guard complement. That's quite good. Uh, right, Northampton. What do we build now? What do we go for? There are so many things. Um, I think, yeah, sort of unrest is OK. We're fine for unrest. I mean, maybe a plaza would be quite good for some art XP. Uh, a library, though. A library would be quite good. Got plenty of uh, plenty of faith going on right now in Northampton. Maybe a library. Get a library sorted out, Northampton. That'd be quite good, wouldn't it? Just to, you know, get some more knowledge on the go. Just to try and not be so far behind everybody else in the whole sort of researching thing. Oh, yes, our Shogun person was going to go and build a thing over here, weren't they? Let's put them over here, look. Um, yeah, can you build 
one of these, a show-in. Yeah, you do that, look. Build one of those things. Um, okay, so now a quick check. So yeah, we get government XP and diplomacy XP. And if a daimyo is there at the start of their turn, we get more diplomacy XP and government XP. What about if there is a shogun there? Does that still count? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Okay, well, there we go. We have a shiny new thing. It looks quite good. I mean, you're in the way, but yeah, it's a sort of a, a lovely building there and some little houses around it, which is quite nice. We have got another 43 improvement points. Maybe we upgrade the harbours. I think we can upgrade the harbours. No, the docks into harbours. That's it. So we've got a dock. We can upgrade that to a proper harbour. It might be worth doing 24 points. Okay, we'll do Liverpool's first. So, boop. There we go. Proper harbour setup. Now, look, it's got a little kind of lighthouse type thing on the end and little houses around it. That's quite good. And then, yeah, next turn, we can upgrade Bristol's and then we can upgrade Northampton's and then we can upgrade Kazan's. I think now that's what we do. Let's get lots of harbours on the go. OK, we have what we need to upgrade Northampton's harbour. Let's get that done. Wonderful. And I think as well we can do Bristol's, which is nice. So there we go. Couple of extra harbours. So more money coming in, which is quite good. We also do have another culture power, uh, which I suppose... Do we want to... Oh, hang on, the daimyos come from diplomacy, don't they? That's where we spawn the daimyos. Uh, I mean, we could... We could get another one of those and then just put them over there. Joe, you know let's do that, shall we? We'll spawn a daimyo over there and then you can just hang around on your little kind of proper place. and You can give us more diplomacy XP and government XP. So that could be quite fun. Um, and then we've also got a thing we can unlock here. We've got 148 government points. So we could either choose Eat Cake or Patron of the Arts. Palazzos generate culture and art XP. Oh, that could be quite good. More culture means we get more culture power things available. And we can do more with them. Okay, yeah, we'll take that, please. So what's our current culture? Plus 22.8. Okay, so if we then upgrade that, so now it's on plus 26. That's quite the increase. Um, okay, so do we make a town? Do we make another town? Uh, do we do another Eureka? That gives us 104 knowledge which will not quite finish public works, I don't think. Uh, or will it? Total research is 218, but we're quite a long way through it. Uh, do you know what? We'll do Eureka. There we go. The research is complete. This is wonderful. Okay, public works is done. We can upgrade other things, which we can't do now because spend all our improvement points. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll get a printing press, please, because that's going to help us out quite a bit in getting some, you know, some books printed and they can all go from Liverpool over here. Liverpool has many logs. Liverpool has a lot of logs right now. Two lots of logs, in fact. So we could maybe start making books over in Liverpool. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? OK, right. It's all looking very, very wonderful indeed. Right. Uh, 14 turns until the printing press is done. How are we looking for all these demands over here? Bristol. Oh, yeah, we can now build the, um, the new sanitary building thing so look at that hang on go to next turn because three of our cities are going to be sort of uh, requiring new building projects so let's get that sorted shall we uh you can just sort of hang around over there that's fine uh you've healed up which is good so now just head off over here there's some land there's some land right there and some bar bars okay let's go and fight the bar bars hello we shall fight you fight them then attack there we go wonderful we should win really we should be able to take down a guy in a canoe <laughs> we're a proper boat right there we go that's pretty good um you are i don't know what you're doing but you can get upgraded that's pretty good right here we go idle regions i don't know if they would have gone to build other things don't they but northampton what can we build now oh the aqueduct upgrades to a waterworks Oh, I see. I see. Right, OK. Um, I mean, what do we go for now? Northampton, what's going to be the best thing for you? You can build things very quickly, Northampton. So, uh, yeah, OK, let's take a look around and see what's going to be the best thing for Northampton. It might be worth getting a plaza done in one turn, nice and quick, and then getting a granary, just to really make sure that we're OK for food in Northampton. There we go. That will do, I think. That should be pretty good. Um, yeah, you can just sort of... Uh, 
hang around in there. That's absolutely fine. And I don't think we can do much else over here. Kazan. Kazan, are you? You're still predominantly following Judaism. Okay, Tism. Ah, Tism, four population. Uh, Judaism, five population. Okay, but there is more faith spread coming from Judaism than Tism. Okay, can we do anything about that down here? Can we do that? Oh, adopt religion. Target a capital city with a population that follows religion to adopt it as your nation's official state religion. Um, adopt. Oh, no, 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 that, no. We don't want to adopt that as a state religion. That would be bad, wouldn't it? How do we... Oh, spread religion. There we go. Promote your state religion in a foreign region. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, can't do it to people we're hostile with. Oh, okay. So we can't do that to Japan. Could we possibly go, hey, down here, we can't target unrevealed territory. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Not down there, then. We've got a big pile of Artex, babe. Hang on. Promote cultural exports over in Malmo, let's get them up to 200% prosperity because we're not doing much else with this stuff. Um, and then we could spawn an artist. Why don't we do that? Just have the great artist of, of Bristol. There you go. Welcome aboard. Can we get another artist? No, we cannot. And we can't do that again either. Okay, uh, right. Artist, what do you want to do? You could either get 102 culture or you could generate some artwork goods. Yeah, do that, please. Absolutely. Get some lovely artwork goods on the go. Because I believe they... Where are they? There. They generate luxury and production, which is a good thing. Yeah, okay. Wonderful stuff. There you go. Got the great artist of Bristol now. Possibly Banksy. Who knows? Oh, hang on a minute. Our boat might have found another nation. Hello. Who are you? Purple Borders. We don't know who that is. Oh, that's exciting, right? Okay. Uh, okay, Liverpool's built a library. Liverpool, you're lacking in sanitation and faith. Could you possibly upgrade to a waterworks? That'll give you 10 more sanitation points. So you go, yeah, 20. Yeah, fine. Yeah, do that, please. And then you need to sort your faith out. So maybe... Oh, I don't think there's much else you can do. I don't know if there's much else you can do about that. Um, but maybe... Get yourself a Colosseum, because they're quite fun. They give they give culture, and culture is handy. So yeah, get that done, please. I want to go over here and find out who they are. I want to know who's over here, please. Hi. Hello there. Uh, we've met. An it's Greece. It's Greece. Greetings to you. What can we do to foster peace between our nations? You could kill the Japanese, please, because they're just a bit of a pain. Okay. There's Greece. Hi, Greece. We found other people. There's Rome. We found Rome. Okay, this is very good. We have another culture power, another shogunate thing as well. Um, let's get this. Warrior government. Declaring war generates less unrest. We're unlikely to do that. I don't see us being very fighty, but we'll pick that anyway. So uh, there you go. You do get 50% less unrest from being at war. So that might help out if we do get dragged into a war. It might be quite handy to just, you know, stop people getting too grumpy about it. Um, and then, yeah, another culture power. Another culture power. I'm tempted to do the Eureka again. 83 points, which will possibly... No, it won't quite complete printing press, but it will really... It'll be like one turn until it's done. Let's do that. Three turns. Okay, not so bad. Uh, and then we've got loads of improvement points down here. We shall improve Kazan's dock to a proper harbour. And then we've got 37 left. So is it worth... Uh, oh, no, hang on. What's that? Upgrade to a poor house? Oh, no, these are... Yeah, these public quarters are not very good, are they? Do we get rid of the public quarters? Because they generate unrest. Uh, oh, here we go. Hang on. The midden. The middens can be upgraded to trash heaps. Okay, yeah, that's worth doing. Let's do that everywhere. Where is... Where's Liverpool's midden? They don't have... Oh, maybe we haven't got the points to do it. Oh, no, I don't think we've got the points. Um, oh, no, hang on. Repair that one. Fix that up. And then four points to upgrade it to a trash heap. Yeah, okay. Where's the one over here, then? <laughs> they must have one. Maybe they don't have one. Maybe that's why Liverpool is struggling for sanitation, because we never gave them a midden. 
We never gave them a place to chuck all the rubbish. Um, can we build a trash heap? No, we can't. We really can't. We haven't got enough points. And there we go. We've now officially met Rome. Hello, Rome. We have not truly met until we have met on the battlefield. Okay, a slightly weird introduction. I'll just go for hello, but okay, right. So they're aggressive. Right, so I assume, have they been fighting with Greece all this time? I've got no idea. Uh, right, okay, wonderful little boat. Just keep on going. Keep on boating everywhere. Just find many exciting things. There's the Amazon rainforest. All the way over there. Wonderful. Right. I would like to, if we could, get the printing press research done. And then we'll wrap things up. I think that'll be quite a good point to leave things. Okay. Greece. It, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Greece. Diplomat. It's a sad day, but our troops will take action to keep your armies away from our territory. We will kill your people in neutral territory. That's not very diplomatic, Greece. That is the least diplomatic thing you could do without, you know, asking us about it, saying, could you stay away? It's like, hello, how are you? We're Greece. We're going to kill you if we see you outside. Uh, okay, <laughs> fine. Be like that, Greece. Be like that. Okay, right. So, yeah, Greece are, I would say, probably the superpower of the world. Can we see what their strength is? Over double hours. Okay, right. That's a little bit concerning, isn't it? They're very good. A feudal monarchy, raiders, explorers, and great masters. Oh, they've picked their next thing already. We haven't got to that point yet. Um, okay, we'll have a look down here and then look over there. Hi. Hello there. And here we go. We've got printing press done. That's all very good. Uh, let's go into the Age of Enlightenment, please. We probably do want to come back and get a few of these. But yeah, we've got to get into the new age, please. We need the new sort of national spirit thing. So we'll get that underway. And then Kazan. Oh, your palazzo's complete, Kazan. It seems like a long time ago since we told you to do that. But there we go. You've got it done eventually. Oh, look, we can build a tea room. We can build a tea room. There is the tea room. That's our special kind of religious building. One culture and one knowledge. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, build one of those, Kazan. Get yourself a tea room. Oh, that's magnificent. Okay, that's really good. And then maybe after that... You could get yourself maybe a library just to make us better at research. And I think with that done, we will wrap things up for now. But I think it's still going quite well. I'm quite happy with how it's going. Slow going. Slow going. I know we're not flying through the turns, but, you know, I'm kind of you know, trying to show what we're doing and what the sort of general vague-ish plan is. And, you know, I think it's working. I think it's sort of working. Um, what is the faith down here, though? Oh, Kazan is now predominantly tierist. Okay, that's really good. That's very good. Predominantly, yeah. So six population follow tierism, five Judaism. Okay, right. So I think it's just about tipped over toward tierism. So all of our cities are now following our religion, which is pretty good. Also, I notice over here, that place I'm not going to try and say the name of is also tierist. That is tierist. Japan are not going to be happy about that. That might make the Japanese very grumpy indeed. But there we go. So got loads of uh, loads of people now. Look, the population has gone back up, following a bit of a, a bit of a kicking from the plague. There, we've got loads of new buildings. We picked up loads of technology this time round. We've got many, many exciting social fabric points now. Loads down here in insights. So our research is a little bit cheaper, and we've got proper boats. We've got a proper actual boat now. There it is. There's our official little boat doing some decent boating, which is brilliant. So I think I'll yeah, wrap things up for now. Come back next time. We'll have a look around this continent here. Just sail around there and just see what's going on and how big Greece and Rome might be. Um, and then I think yeah, we'll try and move into that age there and just keep on doing what we're doing. We'll keep on doing the improvements around the land. We'll just keep on trying to focus on our cities, maybe get Malmo up to maximum prosperity, possibly. That'd be quite good, just to make sure they're giving us lots of lovely things. So, uh, yeah, plenty to do, plenty to do. But, yes, I'm very happy with how it's gone. So, we'll finish up for now, come back next time, 
and just carry on doing the same and hope that it all ticks over very nicely. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in millennia. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. You've been sentenced to 23 years for multiple crimes, including loud humming and public nose picking. Oh my goodness me. It looks like we're serving bacon, eggs, green stuff, and whatever that might be just there. Our psychologist has been murdered by a prisoner <laughs> with a fountain pen. <laughs>